Hello guys, today I am going to show you an HP DV7, first gen. This notebook was introduced in 2008 and is equipped with 17 inches screen. It's still usable nowadays, visual wise pretty neat, but immensely heavy at the same time. It's not too much of a deal breaker, but still noticeable. I used this laptop as a learning device, assembly and disassembly and it killed me with pointless complexity. In order to get to a system fan I had to remove the uppercase, the screen, the keyboard, speakers, other part of the uppercase and many many other things. This is just insane. So basically speaking, to remove the most failure lucky part you need to disassemble more or less 90% of the device and that's definitely the worst example of product engineering that I have came across so far, by far. And drivers to this unit also deserve the whole story. HP does not bother to enlist in a clear way what type of graphic card you have, so most probably you will end up having nothing. My problem was solved in a pretty simple way, since I already opened the deep interior of the DV7. And here we are, NVIDIA GF9600 mobile. Dear Google has got the answer. And let's talk games. Although this unit is 12 years old, it is still a rather nice option to play some retro games. At the end of the day it has a giant screen even by today's standards. In many cases this is the deal breaker. Also, it's not so one trick pony as you may think it might be. In terms of games, HP DV7 comes up to good 2006-2008 standards. And that means a lot of possibilities. As a huge, huge fan of Colin McRae Rally 2.0, I can't help myself from trying it out on every computer I come across. Unfortunately, this time it does not work fine. To be 100% honest with you, I suspect that the graphic card is simply on the verge of dying, so, well, wherever. At the end of this video I would like to give you some context about the size of HP DV7, so let's put some objects on it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.